Everyone's on a scam. It's like, the other day, I had to book a flight on one of these cheap airlines. They got a scam going, haven't they? You've got to do it all yourself. You have to get on the airline's website, put all the details in for them, choose your own seat, wear your own luggage so you're not overweight, print out your ticket on your printer. Fucking, I only want to go to Tenerife. I didn't know I was working for the fucking company. <laughs> now I'm getting worried whether they're going to give me the time off work to go on this trip. <laughs> and have you been through security lately at the airport? Have you been through security? They still make you take your shoes off. Do you know why? In case you wake up that bloke staring at the x-ray screens. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going through security, no shoes on, doing all that shit, you know? <laughs> you can see him over there staring at the screens going... <laughs> I love that it's security. I love that when you go through security, you know, they make you take your shoes off and your belt and your jacket and your bag. <laughs> it all goes in that tray, goes through the x-ray machine. You're actually saying to the security bloke, you know, these terrorists, they actually think they're going to change the way we live our lives. Oh, I don't fucking think so. <laughs> you know, you're standing there, stark bollock naked. <laughs> Some bloke behind you wearing white gloves going, oh, no. <laughs> Not going to change my life. <laughs> Every day's a crack. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if you, see, if you see an unattended bag left somewhere, you go, ah, the fucking hell's that? Years ago, if you saw an unattended bag, you go, I'm fucking having that. <laughs> Then you've got to go through that big metal detector, you know, that big, that big doorway one, you know, the one that's meant to pick up any metal? Have you noticed? Have you noticed? <laughs> it's made of metal. <laughs> that's not even a sniffer dog that's into fucking drugs, you know? <laughs> I've got to find some soon, man. <laughs> I'm getting the eebie-jeebies. Now you're just about to climb aboard a jet-powered machine that engineers have spent years eliminating dragon turbulence so you can reach speeds of 500 miles an hour at 37,000 feet, destinations far across the planet. But they overlook one thing, one tiny design fault that fucks all that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the queue in WH Smith's at the airport. Fuck me, have you been in that queue? <laughs> it's the most miserable conga in the world. <laughs> There's people in that queue, they've been there for years going, ah, da 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 uh... You know, they always have two people on the tills. Unless they're really busy, then they just have the one. <laughs> Which is why when they call the flight, you're late for the gate. You're running up one of those moving walkways, dragging your bag behind you on wheels. And have you noticed it starts to make that suggestive growling noise like it's getting turned on? Have you noticed that? You'll be walking up one of those moving walkways, your bag will be behind you, going like... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. If you're really late, it starts to get really sexed up. Like, whoa. If everyone's late, it sounds like a fucking orgy, you know? Oh, yeah, do me. Do me big time, do me. Do me? Where the fuck did that come from? If I said that in our house, my wife would go, like, fucking what? <laughs> you know, do me, do me. I'll do you in a minute, you chimp. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the gate, you get to the gate of the airport, there's those smug fuckers at the gate, you know, the speedy borders. You know them fuckers that are paid extra to be fast-tracked up the front? You can see them standing there going, think you'll find I'm first. <laughs> You know, he's going for his pre-flight checks, you know, polar neck, check. <laughs> Corduroy trousers, check. <laughs> really small penis, check. <laughs> he thinks he's going to get on the plane first. I don't think so. You know when that EasyJet woman starts speaking into that microphone, you know, speedy borders and passengers with children only, please. When that comes out the speakers, <laughs> that's translated into, ready, bundle! <laughs> Everyone's like, ah, poof, ah, off. <laughs> I love seeing the faces of those speedy borders when they realise they paid extra to be fast-tracked onto a fucking bus. Have you ever been on one of those buses you have to get to your plane? Have you ever checked out the driver? They're fucking mental. That's why they're putting behind glass to protect the passengers. You can see them in that little cube gun. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> you know, 
they've got that little hole to put some meat through, you know. <laughs> As soon as he's got you all on his fucking bus, he pisses off across a tarmac, overtaking jumbos, cutting up 737s. <laughs> you all in the back hanging on, you know. What's he doing? <laughs> you all look like the back end of a butcher's van, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you get to your plane, you know, you walk up the steps, and there to greet you at the door is. <gasps> Orange face, Phyllis. Because <laughs> you know everyone that works for EasyJet's fucking orange. And the trouble with EasyJet is everything's orange. So all the staff keep merging into the background. You're getting on the plane and hovering in front of you is like a hairdo with some teeth. <laughs> Welcome to EasyJet. Fucking <laughs> And have you tried the seats on these cheap airlines? Have you tried the seats? The captain comes over the tannoy and he goes, ah, once we're in the air, you'll be able to kick back and relax. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried pressing that little button in your armrest? Have you tried pressing that? Fucking, that's it, that's it. That's all you get, that's it. <laughs> kick back and fucking relax? <laughs> What's this Hobbit fucking airlines? Because they always say that, then they? When you're coming into land or you're going to crash, put your seat in the upright position. What, 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 what? That's going to save my fucking life, is it? <laughs> no. Not only is this a shit amount of room, but now you're one inch closer to the ground, the very thing that's going to fucking kill me! <laughs> in fact, you've got to crash to get more leg room. It's on the... <laughs> is what I call luxury. <laughs> what do you reckon, love? Love, where the fuck she go? <laughs> well, she won't be needing that then, will she? <laughs> <laughs> then you get them fuckers, you know, the latecomers who turn up on the plane late, start trying to get their bag in the overhead locker. Oh! <laughs> now you're sat there with some stranger's knob coming at you. I didn't know the in-flight entertainment was Dodge the Dong. <laughs> He's up there going like, who are you? doesn't comply with handheld luggage regulations. He's still trying to squeeze it in there. Looks like he's trying to squeeze Anne Whitcomb into a fucking bread bin. <laughs> you look out the window, there's the ground crew. I love the ground crew. There's always that bloke, isn't there, with the headphones plugged into the plane. I always think that's the biggest fucking iPod I've ever seen. <laughs> as well, isn't it? Going around the plane with a clipboard, you know, ticking stuff off, you know, just before you take off. Going around the plane, you know, with a clipboard, go, mm-hmm. Because uh, <laughs> that is what you don't want to see, you know? You're on the runway, you're just about to take off, you look out your little window and you can see him down on the tarmac, go like, ah, ah, what the fuck's that? <laughs> what the fuck? You know, you're staring out that window going like ah. Because they, they always say, don't they, your life jacket's under your seat. But you never really check, do you? I mean, you have a little feel around, you know. Come across that bloke's shoe in the seat behind. Sorry. Because you know that's what's going to happen. You're hurtling towards the ground at 500 miles an hour. You, in a blind panic, will be trying to get a fucking shoe on your head. You know, you're putting on the laces. Mine's not inflating! <laughs> Have you read 
the safety instructions on the plane. They actually give you the instructions of how to use a sick bag. Well, we don't know how to be sick into a bag. <laughs> You're just about to Ralph, you've got it on your head going. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know how the fuck this works? <laughs> And you're sat in your seat, you've got a five hour journey, you're sitting there going, yeah, this is all right, I can sit here for five hours, quite comfortable actually. And then suddenly that woman gets on the plane, sits in the seat in front of you with that kid that won't stop fucking crying. And the only thing that stops him is when he pokes his head over the seat in front of you and you go, boo. <laughs> then his mum's face appears in that little gap between the seats and she goes, ah, oh, I think you found a friend there. <laughs> no, I don't want a fucking friend. <laughs> Because you know what's going to happen now? She's going to have a fantastic journey and you're going to be Barney the purple fucking dinosaur. <laughs> you're still sitting there three hours late with that kid poking his head up. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate kids. <laughs> Four hours later, he's still doing it. You're looking at the door going, if that door opens, I'm fucking jumping out. <laughs> After five hours of this, the kid pokes his head up over the seat in front of you and you go, Dah! Everyone in the seats behind you is like, ah, oh, fucking well done! <laughs> if you weren't gonna do it, I fucking was! 